Hello YouTube, Daryl and Uncle Carl here with another video from the Easy Prepping channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, your security, your physical security, uh, after SHTF, but even before too, uh, current day. It got me thinking when I was doing my video on having a way to have light after the sun goes down, that especially after SHTF, would you want that light shining out your windows or not. I tried to look at it from two different perspectives to get inside the bad guy's head. Are you more likely to be a target because they see the light and know that there's probably stuff in there that they would want? Or are you less likely to be a target because there's light shining out the window and therefore people in there that could defend themselves? I don't know. I even asked my wife, the clinical psychologist, uh, as she years ago used to deal with uh, less savory characters in our society. And after giving it some shot, some thought, she didn't know which way they might go either. It's, we think it's a toss up. What do you think? You can let me know down here in the comments. But it got me thinking more about uh, the physical security of your home mainly. I've done a little brief research here and also with the benefit of all the thought I've given it to the, over the years and jotted down a few things that I think uh, you could do that would help with your security uh, now and after NSHTF. The first thing on the list is motion detecting lights. Here a while back, probably a year ago or better, our barn was broken into. Luckily, nothing was taken, but it was quite a shock when I got down there and the, the small man door, the walkthrough door, had been kicked in. And, of course, I called the sheriff's department, and there's nothing they would do, could do, I guess. Uh, since nothing was, the guy was shocked nothing was taken. I had a couple of steel chainsaws sitting there within eight feet of the door, and they were still sitting there. But anyway, I put some extra heavy bolts on the door, mounted up some uh, imitation security cameras, put up more no trespassing signs. But the biggest thing I did is I found some solar charging motion sensing lights. These are floodlights. Uh, I got them on Amazon. I'll see if I can find a, what I bought here and put a picture of it up. But what these will do is at night, they charge during the day. And at night, if anything, uh, they sense any motion, they turn on. And hopefully that will startle or scare away any bad guys. And I wonder how many deer I've <laughs> startled and scared away down there at the barn with the, the lights coming on as they walk by. Next thing I have here on my list are look at your home, examine for weak spots. Where would the bad guy or guys try to come in through? Doors and windows, of course. There are ways of reinforcing those. Uh, especially on your doors, you'd be surprised how easy it is to kick in a door, my barn being an example, uh, with just standard hardware on it. You can get steel doors, you can get the where the bolt goes into the frame, the extra long screws that actually go in a lot further and make that bolt a lot more sturdy. So reinforce your doors and your windows, strengthen the windows, and to go along with that, uh, one thing I have here at the house is an alarm on every door and window. And it's set to mainly just engage at night, but I could turn it on anytime. And when it goes off, you know it. That, that thing is loud. I think it's loud enough. It's mainly, it would chase away, uh, hopefully, bad guys that were trying to break in. And next we have a system for, uh, well, security cameras. I know most of you out there are in your existing home or apartment now, and you don't really have a chance to wire it. When we built this house, having spent over 40 years in IT, most of it in data and telecommunications, I could pull Cat6 Ethernet wire in my sleep. And a friend came down from that I'd worked with at Fort Knox. We spent a weekend rewired this place. I have security cameras on the outside covering every door and window. Also, uh, it was my buddy's idea. We put a camera inside the garage. So if anyone were to come in through the garage to try to get to the door into the house there, they're covered under a camera. But being as 
you're probably already in your home and pulling wire through the walls, I guarantee you, is a royal pain in the butt. You might want to consider the wireless cameras. The big disadvantage with those is they have batteries in them and you have to be able to get to the camera once in a while to replace those batteries. And the next thing I'd like to cover is, uh, well, something you should think about at least, is have a safe room within your home. The, uh, of course, we have our tornado shelter, but it's a way to having a fallback position. If your home is invaded, you could pull back and defend a smaller area. Just something to think about. Next is uh, have a dog, preferably a big one with a loud, low bark. They can be uh, quite a deterrent. I wouldn't want to mess with a big dog like that. Next, firearms. First and foremost, no firearm safety. I did a video recently where I covered in detail the four main rules of firearm safety. I'll put a link here to that video in case you uh, didn't see that. And if you think it's even remotely possible you could have firearms involved in your life in the future, you should go and at least check out those four rules if you don't, even if you don't go watch my video on it. Next would be signs you could post around your property. Things like, uh, well, beware of dog, no trespassing, even trespassers will be shot on sight, anything to try to create a deterrent in the bad guy's head. And next, uh, one thing you should maybe consider is perimeter alarms, or as some would call booby traps. There are a wide variety out there. If you just even go search on Amazon perimeter alarms, you're going to come across the electronic driveway alarms, which uh, I had a friend once who was out in the country, installed one of those, so he'd know that somebody was coming in his driveway. Well, he got tired of being awakened at night every time a deer strolled across his driveway. He ended up turning them off. Anyway, there is that type. There are the ones that are meant longer range, meant to cover more than a, a short distance of a driveway. And then there are ones that are rigged up. Say uh, you would tie one of these to a tree. You load it with a shotgun shell. I've even seen some that were a 22 long rifle shell. But the object of these is not to shoot somebody. They are to make a lot of noise. If someone hits your trip wire, it will set off that shell, not scaring them and alerting you that someone was in the area. And going back to my, uh, I used to be a, a history buff, specifically World War II, and what uh, Marines and soldiers fighting in the Pacific did to detect if the enemy was trying to sneak in on them at night, they would take their ration cans, tin cans, and tie them to line and string around their perimeter. So that if anything touched that line, it would rattle the cans and wake them up, let them know that uh, somebody was getting close. I want to let you know that I do plan on making more videos about items that I have in prepper bins hopefully give you some ideas of what you might want to stock in your own bins. I've had uh, one commenter say that they were just getting started and on a very tight budget. And my advice was to just make a list of the items and which ones were top priority to them. Also, you could list them by price. And that way, to best decide which ones to get first by how they fit into your budget and how important they are to you. So please take that advice. And if you have any comments, please leave them here below. If you have suggestions for uh, future videos, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll consider it. And as always, if you have not clicked that subscribe button yet, please do so. Please click that thumbs up like, share the video. And if more things occur to me about security, I will of course, put out another video and we'll bring those up. So, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Thank you for watching.